Hi everyone, today we're going to make some uh, fused glass Milli Fiore, I think that's how you pronounce it, or some people I think call it Murini, um, and we're going to make that in a kiln, but not a vitrograph kiln. Welcome to Rocket Rose Art, my name is Jeff. What we're going to be making today is probably more Murini than it is Milli Fiore, um, mainly because I understand Marini is just a pattern that goes right through the cane, whereas uh, Milli Fiore is more a regular pattern such as uh, a flower or something similar to a flower or something along that lines. You get a lot of things like even dogs and that in it nowadays. So I'd probably call this Murini. Now we're going to be making it in a mould and you may be able to buy moulds, but I'm not absolutely sure on that. So have a look around. You may be able to buy them. The mould I'm using today is one that I've made. Now this is uh, the, an extension of a test I made, and I'll show you the test very shortly. And what I'm hoping to do today is um, make some Murini that I can use in a project. Now, if you're new to the channel, uh, please consider subscribing. If you've got any questions at all, put them in the comment section below and I will answer them. And um, if you like the video at the end, please hit the like button, I'd appreciate that. Now I mentioned a test that I had made and this is the result of that test. It's a cane that has a pattern in the end of it there and that goes all the way through. And if you look at the um, little bits of uh, Murini here, you can see that there's a sort of a fairly consistent pattern that goes all the way through. Now I made that in a mould here that I made myself. This is stainless steel and this, believe it or not, was made out of a bit of a thin sheet stainless steel that I cut up <laughs> out of a toilet brush holder. Um, it was all stainless steel and I seen that um, in a cheap shop or somewhere and I thought, oh, I can use that somehow or other. So I just got a strip of that that I cut up with a pair of um, tin snips. I whacked it over a piece of wood to make that shape, pinched the ends in and that's coated with uh, boron nitrate. Obviously this one has been damaged so I'll have to recoat this. So that's the mould I use to make that in. And um, I believe I, I used a, um, a rod and uh, a couple of stringers and some uh, frit to get that pattern. So today I've made another mould out of the same material, but this one is a double one because I want to make enough Murini for a project. So this one here, again, I've done the same thing. I've shaped it around a, a basically a piece of wood and uh, just you know, take some time, just hammered it and and uh, knocked it around and pushed it and done everything I could to get it into the shape and then I've pinched the ends here. Now what I'm going to do with this first off is I'm going to put this in a kiln, take it up to a high temp, probably up to you know, probably 700 or something like that because I suspect there's oil on this from the manufacturing burn that off which is what I did with that one there then I'll um, coat it with boron nitride and we'll make some Murini in it now just to uh, remind you or if you haven't been on my channel before all the glass that I'll be using today is bullseye COE 90 um, and if I and I will give you a firing schedule so you'll need to adjust that for whatever COE glass you use as I mentioned here, I'm putting boron nitride on this. Mostly I use that on moulds, but in this particular case, I do uh, use it for uh, some fusing, such as this type of thing. And don't forget, stay safe. Um, when you're spraying this on, make sure you wear a mask. When you clean it up, make sure you wear a mask. And when you're cutting your glass, make sure you wear safety glasses. So the first thing I'm going to do, as I said, is I'm going to get this into the kiln. Um, and burn it off and tomorrow when it's all nice and cool down 
we'll um, put some glass in it and make some marini. So I've got the moulds out of the kiln, everything's been burnt off and I've um, sprayed everything with boron nitrite. So what the plan here is, is that I've got some spring green here. I'm going to uh, put a layer of spring green down in these, then I'm going to put the uh, black in, the white in, these are just uh, six mil strips. And then I'm going to cover that with spring green again. And then I'll go in the kiln. Now I'll be putting a mask on. So uh, while I'm doing this, I won't be talking. Okay, we're back the next day, got it out of the kiln. There's our cane, one of them. And it's turned out all right. It's a little thin on top there, thicker there. You can sort of see the black coming through, black and white there. None of that really matters, as long as we've got a reasonable sort of pattern all the way through. And I'm going to snip off that end right now, and we'll find out what it's like. There we go, look at that. Take another piece off. And that's the pattern. And get it close enough there. So that pattern will go all the way through. And that's pretty much all I wanted. Uh, for the piece I have in mind, I just wanted some sort of a pattern like that. And that's how I make my little pieces. I just get it on there, roughly about six mil, work it into that. Bounces all over the place. But it doesn't matter. I end up with all my little bits. Not the end bit. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. Hey. 
One of the things about making these molds is that, um, honestly, I think you can use pretty much any stainless steel item to that's got a bit of sheet steel in it to make them. You don't have to make them this big, make them smaller if you want. Um, something I've thought about is maybe if you had some stainless steel tubing that you could cut down the middle um, as you could support it somewhere or other. Um, they'd make probably good moulds as well. Um, but they're easy to do. You don't need any special tools. A bit of a hammer and something to form it over really. Um, which can be just a piece of timber. Round it off a little bit and you'll be able to form it over that. Obviously you could make it square if you wanted it to. Uh, we should say wanted to. But um, look, up to you. Even a triangle I suppose. Nice sharp corner. Oh, pie shaped. Why not? Anyway, that one worked out well. Obviously you can see that, that you could use anything in that. You could use stringers through there, any color glass you like, including transparent. And I think you'll be happy when you lay them all up and fuse them together in a piece. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it gave you some good ideas again and um, give it a go got any questions ask me in the comment section as usual uh, and don't forget if you like the video um, hit that like button for me I'd appreciate that a couple of suggested videos up here subscribe button down here turn on your notifications and until the next video I'll say bye for now